we're coming up into this period now post Thanksgiving uh, where you're hearing from people like Deborah Burks, uh, who is effectively telling people uh, that if you've been even at even at a Thanksgiving dinner, you should either, you know, go get tested or effectively quarantine to some degree. Uh, are you telling your, your you know, citizens of, of, of Connecticut to do the same? Hey, Andrew, we're telling the citizens of Connecticut to be very careful. We had one of the lowest infection rates in the country up until uh, about a month ago. We prepped up to close to 5 percent. You're right. With all those uh, social gatherings in and around Thanksgiving, we urged everybody, just stick to your immediate family. And uh, that's what we did. My kids are a little bored of my stories, but um, I think that's going to help us uh, get through the next few weeks, which are going to be decisive in breaking the back on this virus. And, Governor, how are you thinking specifically about schooling right now? Uh, big decision uh, in New York City, uh, the mayor there deciding to open school uh, for, for children uh, that are in elementary school, uh, saying that that's not where this spreads. Yeah, Andrew, we have a little more of the European model. We're pretty strict, um, but we really want to keep the schools open. So we've got almost half of our kids have access to full-time, five-day-a-week education. I think that's so important to um, education, emotional health, um, and we're going to try and power through to Christmas vacation as long as we can do it safely. You know, we're getting this positive news about the vaccine. How is your state planning to distribute it? We put together a, a vaccine advisory board so we can get into the churches and, and get into other groups so people, A, feel confident that uh, when the vaccine is ready, they can take it. We're going to prioritize uh, nurses and docs and uh, the most vulnerable. And, but how does that work? Are you going to get contacted? I mean, if, if, if I'm living in Connecticut, is someone going to call me and say, it's your turn now? Uh, what it says is we're going to get the uh, vaccine delivered, first of all, to our hospitals. They have all the refrigeration ready to go. And the hospitals will then contact nurses and docs and make sure these people are vaccinated and can stay on the battlefield helping us deal with COVID. Uh, then when it comes to the nursing homes, we'll make direct deliveries to the nursing homes to make sure all folks there are properly vaccinated as well. In terms of these fines that you've just announced, ten thousand uh, dollars, for example, um, how, ma how many times have you had a situation where you think you would have fined somebody ten thousand dollars before you, inst you know, instated this 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 fine system? Yeah, Andrew, as you can imagine, it's being um, implemented by our local municipalities. So if it's a local store owner, they generally know who that owner is, and they give him a friendly reminder to please be careful. But if it's one of those big box retailers and people are packing in there um, and we probably don't have the same relationship, um, those are the ones that we would have implemented a fine like that. Right now, we haven't had to. I think just the thought of the fine is making people a little more careful. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.